to start with let me open my sample project that is technical school current now to locate that sample project you can go back click on file and then from the open drop down you can go and select the sample files option click on sample files and then select the last project that is technical school current m and then click open let's go to 3d view now this is the project we have currently now let's suppose you would like to create the door schedule for this project for sure there're going to be a lot of doors here so we need to learn also how we can organize and group the schedule to start with let's go to view and then go to schedule and select schedule quantities and let's select the door option now you will notice under the name option you have door schedule 2 so it means there is already one schedule named door schedule is present so we let it be door schedule 2 and then let's go and click on okay once done we can add the fields which we want to be present in our door schedule table so starting with family let's suppose we need the family or let's make it family and type then i would like to know at what level they are present in so let's select the level next next we can add the mark number then we can select the count and let's see what else we can see or uh, instead of mark we can put the type mark so let's go for type mark so we have family and level then we have family and type then we have level we have count type mark and uh, let's see what else we can add it here if you have a manufacturer detail you can add that all right so for a while i'm going to create my table with these details only so let's go and click on okay so now <coughs> here you will see we have number of doors present here so let's suppose i don't think this type mark is of any use right now so let's go back and remove this type mark so let's suppose you would like to remove any fill you can again go back to the fill option and then you can select type mark and remove it instead of that let's suppose we can add something else so here let's go and add the description description and add it all right once done i can go and click okay so you will find we have the family and type we know at what level they are located and we know how many count of it if it contains any description which will it will be visible here now the next step is we have this data now we need to convert this data into a useful information so the first information we would like to know is how many total doors are present in our project so we for sure we are not going to count it one by one there should be a specific way as also you can see it is not showing any totals here so to get the totals first of all we go and select the sorting slash grouping and then you can click on grand totals once selected you can click on okay and let's go down now you will notice the grand total is 100 next so now we know in our project we have total 100 doors next i would like to know how many doors are present in each level so for that let's go for sorting and grouping again so let's go to sorting and grouping and under sorting and grouping we will sort them by levels so once you sort them by levels you can click on okay and you should expect a change in the view so the moment i click on okay yeah there was a bit of change but we haven't noticed yet so all right so now we would like to make it look uh, make this schedule look more clear so for this what we can do is <coughs> we can go back to sorting and grouping again and then after each sorting i would like to leave a blank line so let's click okay again now you will see here something that 
these are the total number of doors which are present in level number one or that is entry level then these are the total doors which are present in second floor or in level two and similarly in third floor or level three next I would like to know how many total doors are present in each level so for this we can go back to sorting and grouping again and then we can uncheck this itemize every instance so we can uncheck this and then click OK so now we know total doors present in level number 1 is 38 in level 2 it is 31 and in level number 3 or third floor it is 31 so now we have a clear idea how many doors are present in each level alright now let's go back once we have this information present let's go back and let's suppose we'd like to see all the LA doors now so just check mark this and then click OK now this time I would like to know how many specific type of doors are exactly present in this project so for example how many M single flush double acting doors are present then similarly how many M single flush doors are present so on so for this what we can do we can again go back to sorting and grouping now this time I'm going to sort them by family and type by leaving a blank line so once this is done let's click on OK so now you can see all of the doors of a specific family and type have been categorized next now I would like to know how many totals of each type of doors are present so for this again we can go back to sorting and grouping and then I can uncheck this itemize every instance so let's uncheck this and then click OK so now you have a very clear idea that total number of M curtain wall double glass are 6 M curtain wall single glass is 11 and so on you can see the, the maximum number of doors which have been used is in M single flush type that is 63 so this is how you can group and sort and gather the information you need let's suppose you would like to know in each level how many different types of doors are present we already know how many doors are there in each level now this time we would like to know out of this total doors in each level how many different types are present and how many of them so for that again we go back to sorting and grouping this time again we'll make it sort by level first and then once done okay let's uncheck and make it itemize every instance and then let's go back to sorting and grouping and then we can select then by sort by level then by family and type so let's click OK and then to make it more clear we can make it leave a blank line so let's click OK so now you can see we have again it is now organized but still we don't see the cal total calculation so again go back to sorting and grouping and then uncheck the itemize every instance <coughs> now once done you can see in level 1 6 count of M curtain wall is present and then in level uh, 1 it's again M curtain wall of are present in 3 numbers and so on so you can see first all the doors which are present in level, lo level number 1 and how many of each types are present is clearly visible here we can go back and then select sorting and grouping and if you would like you can itemize each of them and then click OK so this is how you can create and do the sorting and grouping for schedules in Revit